everyone. This is Good Money Stewart. It's Sunday afternoon and I hope everyone is doing well. It's a little bit cloudy here today and we had rain this morning. Pretty good rain that uh, fall. I had to go to work. Yeah, I had to work today and I'll probably be working some other Sundays too due to the fact that we had a person hired for the weekend but I guess it just wasn't their cup of tea and especially working the weekends which I could understand so but I pray that everyone's Sunday has been good thus far I had to go into the Dollar Tree I had to pick up some items so um, I did a small little haul so I'm going to show you what I got no random order at all none whatsoever okay so I thought I had some gift bags. Apparently, I've got them. I just don't remember where I put them. And you know what I noticed? I'm doing these. Um, what am I doing? <laughs> I don't remember what I'm doing. Anyway, I needed some gift bags. And uh, what I noticed about these gift bags is you used to could get three. This is two. This is two on here. They used to give you the three, and I see they're cutting down. There's a lot of things they're cutting down on uh in the stores but i picked up these two they're by uh Viol what is that vila vila is that the name of that yeah you guys i did my nails while i was at work i sure did i sit at the desk and i did my nails while i was at work okay we needed some of these um for the kitchen to get the pots and the skillets really clean and this had 10 in them and this is scrub buddies for tough cleaning jobs so I can cut these in actually I probably can cut them in fours and make these last a whole lot longer Juliana will be happy about that and then this right here and I, I'm praying that I remember wait a minute these are like magnets okay this is the uh, cooking concept burner cover set, but it's a craft, a DIY, and it has a little one in there. So this is going to be either for fall or Christmas that I'm going to do the craft with this. And then I saw someone who said that they hate they didn't get more than one of these. These are these little flashlights, and if you push the button, and it's flat, you guys, it's flat. And I'm trying to remember who that was, because I was going to send them one of these. Boy, Lord, help me to remember who it was. But yeah, these are worth it. They're little flashlights, and you, they're little magnets on the back, too. Magnet, portable, battery included. So, if you were the person... And most likely you won't tell me. But if you were the person that said you would have liked to have gotten another one of these, please let me know because I got three and I'll be glad to send you one. More than glad to send you one. Okay, I have a co-worker who is going in the hospital for knee surgery and her birthday is coming up. And she likes prints. So these are these um, eye masks. And I thought of her when I saw these. You got it in the stripes. And then you have it in the leopard. So I thought while she's home recuperating, she would like to maybe have one of these eye masks for her time off. And then I got her a little book, a journal book, and hoping she'll think happy thoughts while she's off recuperating from that surgery. Uh, I needed another extension cord because I needed it. Uh, I just needed it. So for a dollar, and this is um, six six feet, and it is by, who is this by? It says outlet. Indoor use only. And Greenbrier is the maker of that, though. And I saw these because it made me think about someone I want to do this for. And it says, when I need a hand, you gave me your paw. Now you tell me that's not cute. I think that is so cute. 
and it says a house is not a home without paw prints. Isn't that cute? And then I got two more of these because I know exactly who I'm giving these to as a Christmas gift. We make a lovely pair. I know exactly who I want to give these to. So, And I didn't want to just give the one person one, but not the other person one. That wouldn't have been fair. Okay. Needed some of these for in the morning for breakfast. These are really good. These are Ellie's Cinnamon Raisin Bagels. You get four in here. And they smell so good, guys. I think I'm going to have this with my tuna for dinner tonight. I needed some mayo, may mayonnaise. It's Holder's Gourmet Real Mayonnaise. And this is a 10 ounce little jar. Don't really like this stuff, but I have to mix it in with my tuna to make it taste good. Got me some more of my black olives because I've got. Went in the store and was going to get my stuff to make my salsa. Totally skipped my mind. Totally skipped my mind. So, but anyway, got the ripe olives. These are the Bella Pitted Firm, Plump, and Juicy Ripe Olives. These are the medium size. These are really good. I could eat a can of olives all by themselves. Totally. Then I got, this time they have the Star Kissed uh, Chunky Like Tuna, and this is in water. And it will not be around very long, so I'm not worried about the expiration date. And then finally, I had to get this because this is for a DIY for the fall. I already have the wreaths made up because my sister made me these wreaths. Was it last year? It was either last year or the year before. There's nothing wrong with them. Beautiful. But I saw this and I thought, oh my God, that would go so beautifully in the middle of that. So, I'm going to take this out, this, this portion right here, and I'm going to stick it in the middle of that wreath. I don't know if there's anything I could do with this. You know what? I probably could. Probably could. Uh, so, I'm going to take, because I did not have this totally didn't have this but that purple down in there will go really good with the reef for that well guys that is my haul for today Juliana is still in Minnesota they are enjoying themselves and so she will not be back until um, tomorrow sometime um, late afternoon or evening they have been enjoying themselves and that's good I want her because we really didn't go anywhere for the summer so this is kind of like a fall vacation for her. And like I said, I went into work this morning. It was quiet, but I would have rather gone to Sunday service. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. I can't, can't do anything about that. But uh, So I'm going to make me some tuna for dinner on my cinnamon raisin bagels. I would love to have another one of those... Uh, Filet fish dinners again, but uh, budget doesn't allow that. That was a treat, so I'm going to get relaxed, I guess. i got to go downstairs and get the laundry out. I did that early, so that's done. But I hope everyone is doing well. I continue to pray for those that stand in need of prayer. Pray for these different cities with the flooding. and It's so much stuff going on, guys, that... Um, you have to be prayerful. That's the only thing I know. Because there are things that are so saddening if you watch them. You could get so depressed behind all the things that are going on in this world. But I thank God that he gives me peace. And knowing that, you know, even though we may not quite understand the things that are going on, he is in control. Whether people want to believe that or not, in the end, God was going to have the last say. So that's why he tells us. To fear not. Fear not. And uh, every day, I, I thank God for his grace. I thank God for his protection. Psalms 91. He that dwelleth in the secret, he that dwelleth in that secret place under the shadow of the Almighty. And he is our Almighty. He is our Almighty. So, 
So keep uh, my granddaughter Juliana lifted up in prayer and Trinise and Emmy and Leah as they travel back on tomorrow, coming back home. And uh, I pray for all of you guys. Because you are blessed. You are blessed. And keep sending out those great fall uh, DIYs. They are, they are, it's, it's fantastic the things I'm seeing people do. And uh, end of the month, I'll start mine because then I'll feel like it's fall. Because we're coming out of September and we're going into October. And guess what? Then there's Thanksgiving and then there's Christmas just a cycle we go round and round and round okay with that I'm gonna let you go I'm gonna go get me something to eat because I am quite hungry and I feel like I need a nap and when I say a nap I'll lay down but won't actually fall asleep so those nap things I don't know I don't seem to do them like when I was younger because when I was younger I would lay down and I'd be out now it's just like I lay down and it's like an in and out and in and out so I don't consider that a nap but with that, know that you're blessed, know that God loves you, and until our next video, trusting for all your needs. Bye-bye.